a story about the chemist. You mean the chemist that give uh, a pregnant woman a body efficient? Yes, the, the, the story about the chemist. Okay. Um, we, we have a chemist uh, who is a pro-lifer. He came to our group and he told us how uh, women, especially very young women, uh, they go to chemists. The chemists are actually like pharmacists, but they don't have any certificate, so they just call them chemists here in Nigeria. That's what they, when you say chemist, that's what they mean in Nigeria. Un, unqualified, you know, uh, people that just sell drugs. They go to them and ask them for any drug that can help them remove the flush out the pregnancy. That's the, that's how they say it. And uh, the chemist in our pro-life group. He said that many of these women come to him. He, he lives in a, in a rural area, which is an outstation. And he gets in touch with all these women. He meets them. They come to him asking for some drugs that they can take to, and, and flush out the pregnancy. And he keeps encouraging them to keep the pregnancy rather than flushing the rather than uh, having abortion. But the chemist also told us something about those people in that area. He said that these these ladies, young ladies, they that they are so poor and they just get involved in a relationship, like sexual relationship, relationships with men for for money, and then they give them small money and they get pregnant, and then they start looking for uh, cheap ways to do abortions, like looking for some medicine, some uh, drugs that the side effects are abortions, and they know all those things. So it's, um, it's, an, it's a place where we should extend our pro-life campaign to and uh, we really need to encourage them on chastity because it's very important for them to embrace chastity. So if they embrace chastity, then they will not get involved in any relationship that is sexual before marriage.